This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We're now at Chengdao, and behind me here you see MacGyver. This is the Tesla Model 3 Long Range from Hong Kong. I purchased him from Havata Sound Group not long time ago, and now I'm going to do the initial degradation test, which is to measure how much capacity we have when the battery is branch banking new. So it has been charging to, well, it, it's still charging. Uh, it's been slow charging now to 100%, and we're going to drive it and see how many kilowatts that we have. This one is supposed to be the new LG battery with around 75, 76 kilowatt hour. It seems to match the Panasonic 82 kilowatt hour battery. You see, we've been slow charging it now to 100%. This might be the first time it's been charged to 100%, except for maybe at Matata Group. And it's still charging. At least this screen claims that it's pulling three kilowatt. That's from the charger. You can see here in Sky Tesla, all the juicy stuff is that it's still inputting around 1.4, 1.5 kilowatt. And look here, usable remaining is 75.6 kilowatt hour. And then nominal full pack, including the, the buffer, around 3.5, 3.3 kilowatt buffer, which is the below zero, 78.9, wow. So we're just sitting here waiting for it to complete uh, charging and then we will uh, head off. You see we are here in Changdao and the plan is to drive to Chiang Mai and then drive to Lampang and then a little bit past Lampang. Uh, I think we have to drive around 250 kilometers and then we drive back again and I'll be back here around three at night. <laughs> I already told Amory's parents I'll be late home. Uh, but I'm doing this uh, because I want to avoid traffic. So that's one of the reasons. And another reason is uh, because I'm, live, I'm also live streaming and the more people are from Europe and they are on, it's uh, starting to be close to prime time in Europe now. So that is the plan. I cannot use navigation here, unfortunately. It doesn't work, uh, but that's how it is. I'll be using Google uh, navigation. And also, yes, I should mention that uh, the Hong Kong car doesn't come with browser. Uh, I don't know what's up with the deal. Uh, Tesla sent out a software update to disable the browser because of some safety issues or whatever shit is going on in China. So that's why we don't have browser. And yeah, we don't have many of the, the games also because I think it requires browser. We don't have YouTube either. So uh, that means I cannot use the Android Auto uh, uh, thing app uh, that requires a uh, browser. Oh, we finished charging. All right. So look here. Uh, um, yeah, we have to get out of here. We're pulling 300 watts right now. So 75.6 kilowatt hour claim. All right. Hopefully we get 75 kilowatt hour, which would be great news. Let me just reset this one, even though it doesn't help too much, but okay. So, all right. Um, let's <laughs> oh, I have these. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, let's go. We have been driving for a bit and now we are passing by Central Festival in Chiang Mai. So that took almost an hour. In the daytime, it would take one and a half hour to get here. So the average speed was only 72 kilometers per hour. We are now on uh, what Thai people call the super or the super highway. This is the motorway um, leading towards uh, Bangkok. So uh, yes, I'll be uh, slacking here. I was, well, about, I was about to say I'll be hammering here at 90 kilometers per hour, but Apparently Thai people, they, they just want a slow poke in the middle lane, going slower than that. Okay, okay, just hug the right lane, I guess, for now. Ugh, it's a bit bumpy. So look at the consumption, 124 watt hour per kilometer. <laughs> so we are down to 88%, not much going on right now. I can show you that the, the battery is resting at 31 degrees Celsius. Yeah, and um, that means we we might drive 600 kilometers before we are done. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll see. I'll just kick back, relax, and enjoy the ride now at night. Wow, um, we are getting, uh, well, semi close to uh, the mountain called uh, Doi Khon Tan. And uh, right now we are going slight uphill. You can see it here in the graph. It was super flat. And the consumption for the last 50 kilometers before here was 118 watt hour per kilometer. <laughs> it's just amazing. Look, it's 22 degrees Celsius at night. It was 24 when it was, we were closer to, uh, to Chiang Mai. So 
the driving conditions here is just superb. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, uh, if you want the best efficiency in Thailand, you have to drive at night. Whoa, I just noticed something. I'm using autopilot, see here? And I noticed that the autopilot on the Hong Kong car doesn't have the, the restrictions or the nerf that the European autopilot has to. In the old days with AP1, uh, look, look here, look here. It takes the curve, oh, okay, okay, I took over a little bit there. But uh, I noticed when we went down the mountain that it could do the curves way faster and it could take sharper curves than the, the European restricted AP, which uh, leads me to believe that the Hong Kong cars, they don't have that nerf, <laughs> which is great. So I went down the mountain using autopilot and I didn't hear the, the typical toot toot, toot toot you would hear in Europe if you draw on similar roads. So that is nice. <laughs> that is super nice. I don't care about lack of games over here. <laughs> as long as I have the awesome autopilot. We are now slightly south of Lampang. I can show the map here. People, most of my, of my Falang viewers, they don't know where the heck we are. Um, but finally over here we have smooth asphalt. Um, the stretch until this point was mostly concrete and the concrete roads in, in Thailand, they are not smooth. <laughs> so uh, yes, but look at this consumption. Oh, it's 127 now. 127 watt hour. Oh, oh yeah, we're going up the second mountain. I can show you on the energy graph. You see, boom. <laughs> But uh, we have been hovering around 123 to 124 one hour per kilometer. So the car is just super efficient. It is 21 degrees Celsius outside, uh, 11 at night. So wow, I love Thailand weather. Uh, but also, I uh, want to remind you guys that uh, the 90 kilometers per hour speed I drive here. Whoa, whoa, whoa was that trees? Okay. Uh, the 90 speed I drive here is actually relevant for many Thai people. I ask Thai people and Okay, some people, they want to cruise at 120, but I also observed that many people, they cruise at around 80, 90 kilometers per hour. Maybe some people do 100-ish, 110, but not everyone in the model cruises at 120. So, which means that the 90 test I'm doing right now is actually relevant. And this 90 test is also relevant in Norway because we, we don't have Autobahn all the way in Norway. Okay, this is it. We're gonna do a little U-turn here. And we have done 300 kilometers, at least according to the trip meter. That is amazing. And we have 51.3% left. All right, let's U turn around here. 500 meters left. We are now in Chiang Mai. And I'm just going to show you that some people, they drive 50 on the motorway with a freaking fossil car. <laughs> what the heck? Why are you driving? Are you drunk, man? Are you, are you drunk, bro? Because the driver seems to be driving like swearing left and right uh, okay any, anywho look at that consumption 100 watt hour per kilometer <laughs> we're still going we have 11 percent left and we still have uh how much do we have uh 71 kilometers to go all right like we said in thai so so we are um about uh about 45 minutes away from chiang down and back home uh, first, I thought about stopping at the uh, PT, my uh, PTT gas station uh, to pee and maybe munch on some food. But then I, I, I feel like I don't want to eat food. I've been eating so much on this trip now, so I, I have some um, some um, uh, what's it called again? Uh, ananas. Uh, shit, I can't remember the name now. Pineapple, pineapple from Chiang Rai, the crunchy and sweet ones at home in the fridge. So I'm gonna eat that one and we, we will just YOLO it. Uh, I've been driving semi-slow now, just look at that consumption. Uh, we had to drive through city, lots of cities, uh, Melim, uh, and you see the consumption is ultra low, 105 watt hour per kilometer. <laughs> uh, there was a moment when I switched off HVAC, but then it started freezing, so I switched on HVAC. It's 18 degrees outside, HVAC is running, and uh, yeah. We are close to the 550 kilometer mark and we have 9% left. <laughs> so yeah, let's just go I and mean, we're driving. What was it? Six and a half hours on the road without stopping, huh? 
I'm unstoppable. <laughs> Let's just finish this. Go straight home to uh, Changdao. We are now in uh, uh, Metang, and you see, it's it's three thirty at night. I was thinking I'm the only one hammering. Right? Look, look at these guys. They are up so early. Okay, let's go. What? They are doing massive shopping and stuff over here. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? I'm usually not up that early. So I have never seen this before. I thought they would start around 6 in the morning. No, no, no. Not these guys. No, no, no. They are they're setting up. Setting up here. Wow. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. We are now in Changdao. Tonila new to Changdao, na kap. We're gonna take this in two languages. We have to speak two languages, na kap. We're gonna do the countdown. We're gonna countdown, na kap. Five, nine, nine, six. This is gonna take forever because we're driving so slow. We're gonna check five, nine, nine, seven. We're gonna cut channel, na. We have to drive slow here. We're driving through the city. Five nine and eight. The, 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 the. Auto pilot. Oh shit. Five nine and nine. Five nine nine. Oh, I can't do that. Shit. Six hundred. <laughs> oh shit. We have point uh, point three percent left. And 0.2 kilowatt hour left. Come on. But I'm not worried because we have 139 kilowatt power limit. If the car was about to shut down, we will have 30 kilowatt power limit. So this means that there is a massive uh, bottom buffer. Uh, probably the, what the BMS claims, 3.5 kilowatt hour below zero. But okay, anyway, let's get back home. We are just a few kilometers away from home now. We're back home now. So if you look at the car's trip meter, it claims that we have uh, spent 75 kilowatt hour. But if you look at the distance versus the consumption, we have less. But uh, there's probably fractions that we can't see in the kilowatt hour. Also fraction we can't see in the watt hour per kilometer. So if we assume 24.5 watt hour per kilometer, for example, then we actually have uh, more than 75 kilowatt hour, more like 76 kilowatt hour. So I'm not sure. See, this is the problem. We have too much, uh, too much round of error in the calculation. But I did reset one of the tabs uh, earlier today uh, in Skama Tesla, and then at least that one claims 75.3 kilowatt hours spent total. And then when you look at distance, it corresponds with the distance in the trip meter. So, hmm, I'm thinking, yeah, that sounds about right uh, to me. And uh, my gut feeling says that we we did actually get 75 something, and then by the end of the trip, we did have 0.1 kilowatt hour left over. So, um, I think based on this, I will uh, actually set the result to be 75.5 four kilowatt hour and then um, before we did the run the the car's bms claim actually 75.6 so there was only a 0.2 kilowatt hour difference normally when i do test in norway uh, i get a bigger difference than this and um, i think the explanation is that um, we had so low consumption today we had to drive semi slow uh, because it's not uh, the yeah it's not a super highway all the way so um uh, I guess uh, this will be the result then, the, the, the battery capacity test. And okay, normally in Norway, I will do the range test and I will also measure the battery. Uh, we don't do the 90, strictly 90 test here, so we can't count it in the, that table, but at least we measure the battery in the new LG pack to be, yeah, you can get around 75 kilowatt hour out of this. And the old generation LG battery was only 70 kilowatt hours. So it's a five kilowatt hour increase. I'll take it because the Panasonic battery that I measured was giving me around 76 kilowatt hours. So it's very close to that one. And uh, actually for today, based on today's consumption, uh, five kilowatt hour extra would mean around uh, 40 kilometer extra range. <laughs> yeah. But okay, so now we have not measured the capacity, initial capacity when the battery is very new. And then we will test again in around 
I don't know when I'll be back in Thailand, but let's say in 10 months. And I will do all my best to try to avoid uh, the battery from degrading. So actually for the most time, it will be just sitting at 60%. And even if we would take a trip to Chiang Mai and back again, we only need to spend around 30% of the battery. So we will most likely rarely have to charge to 90%. But of course, once I'm here back again, then I will maybe go to 90% from time to time. But um, I feel like this car will not be stressed that much compared to MC Hammer. Yeah, okay, well, I have to start using the name. So MacGyver will not be that much DC fast charge or stress as much as MC Hammer or Optimus Prime was back in the Millennium Falcon even. So we're gonna see. But of course, the disadvantage we have here in Thailand is that it is warmer here. So what's gonna happen in uh, a couple of months when we get the hot season around May or uh, uh, April, May, because then around here, it could be 30 degrees uh, in the daytime. So is that going to affect uh, the, the, I mean, is that going to accelerate degradation? We'll find out, I guess. So yes, I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.